I'm Pip. Uh, I play Pip. He's the guy. He's the protagonist. Uh, we follow him through this journey. And I play uh, Stella and Biddy and six other characters. The narrator-driven story means we are all sharing in the telling of the story. We all take turns in sharing the exposition and what's happening. We're all always a part of the action. Physical theater and movement theater and the transformational aspects involved in that is some of my favorite things to do. I really like how um, a hat or some glasses or a dress or just a way of um, physical bearing, a way of walking will change an entire character and we get to see how all of these people bump up against him and change him. My, my favorite thing is the incorporation of Andrew and his violin. Mm. It is simple, yet it adds so much to the telling of our story. So many of us read this in ninth grade and found it boring and difficult to get through. Mm -hmm. And then upon rereading it as an adult, it I was so funny. So funny, <laughs> and I was super surprised at how incredibly dramatic yeah. and like a, a soap opera this really is. Yeah. And each character in it is absolutely fully committed. Their stakes are very high. They they are dramatic. It feels so melodramatic at times, mm -hmm. but everyone has such a immense depth of humanity to them that you can't, you, you don't feel that you're riding the surface of anything at any time. You're always invested in everyone you meet. Right. Dickens used these kind of huge, broadly drawn characters to point to real issues, both that he saw in the society around him and in human nature, and especially things that he struggled with himself. It's an epic tale, and it is an epic production.